Hey ladies, here's my chandelier. I need to flex and show you that. And here is my food. I know a lot of you are curious about what I'm eating because you know I don't eat sugar, I don't eat flour, and my body is what I feel to be the perfect weight for me. I feel really good about that. Um, I no longer suffer from binge eating disorder or weight problems because I'm on a food program. And this is an example of what I eat. <clears throat> I do 10 ounces of vegetables in each meal. Some other people in my food program do a lot more than that. I do 10 ounces because I had weight loss surgery many years ago and my stomach is a little smaller than other people's. It's not tiny anymore like it was in the very beginning because it has been many years and it, it has stretched to a normal size now. But I don't like to pack too much food in there because, you know, it's just uncomfortable and I don't want to get myself into that binge binge eating disorder feeling. Um, I was a binge eater all my life. It's a very horrible disease to have. And I finally have learned how to stop those types of behaviors and become a healthier person. So this is what I eat. Well, for for this meal anyway <clears throat> I've got asparagus that's four ounces of asparagus that is cooked and then I have six ounces of uncooked vegetables red peppers and cucumbers I have three ounces of hummus that's half of my protein the other half of my protein are the black beans that's three ounces of black beans and then I have four ounces of rice and 0.5 ounces of butter it's around four o'clock in the afternoon right now i like to intermittent fast because it keeps my blood sugar nice and low and gets rid of all those crazy food thoughts and you know just all the desires for all kinds of snacks and wrong foods that do not serve me um, and intermittent fasting has a lot of great mental and physical health benefits as well. If you want to know more about that, I'm sure you can find it online. So I like to intermittent fast. It's around four o'clock in the afternoon. This is my first meal. I'll have another meal in a few hours and I'm pretty much going to eat the same thing. Um, I may switch half of this rice for two ounces of sweet potato just to mix it up a little bit. And I might change the black beans to red beans instead. I like to keep my meals simple so I don't have a bunch of different shopping lists and recipes and, you know, all this kind of craziness going on because, again, I've had an eating disorder my entire life since I was a child. And these are some of the tools that help me. I keep it simple. Almost always, I eat very simple food. I like to eat plain food because I'm a food addict. If I get too fancy, I will start taking it to another level. And I don't want to go there. I want to stay neutral with my food where I'm not eating. I'm not living to eat. I am eating to live. And as you can see, this food is helping me live. It's healthy food that is good for my body. It's good for my brain. It's good for my soul. <clears throat> and this is the realm I like to stay in with my food. I, I am currently in a body that I would refer to as a right size body by my own standards. I don't feel too big. I don't feel too small. I don't feel sick. I don't feel... out of control, I feel well. And I like the size of my body. It feels good when I'm walking around and I'm moving around. It looks the way I want it to look when I put on clothes. So this is what I eat to have that experience in my life. And uh, my next meal will be very similar. All my meals tomorrow will be very similar. And this is how I live my life when it comes to food. So I just thought I would share that with you because I know a lot of people like to know um, about my food and 
every time I talk about it, it's pretty much the same because I've been doing the same thing for a long time. And no, I don't have desserts. I don't have anything sugar or flour. I don't use Splenda or Stevia or any of those kind of things. Those are very triggering to somebody like me. They take me out of my sobriety. So I just don't have that kind of stuff. I just don't have it. I haven't had it in a really long time and it helps me. It helps me with my food addiction. It also helps me with any other type of addiction I've had in my mind, including Pikmisha hood and all other kinds of stuff because addiction comes from the same place in the mind. If you have an addiction to drugs or alcohol or you know certain men or food or certain behaviors, you probably have more than just one addiction. You probably have, you probably have that thing where you swap addictions. You know, you'll go from one addiction, then you might stop that one. You know, you may have the power inside of yourself to stop doing one, one addiction, but then it's normally replaced with another addiction. I did the addiction swapping for many years of my life. I'm currently at a place where I am doing my damn best to squash all of them. It's like playing whack-a-mole and then actually sitting in the discomfort you feel when you don't have an addiction to run to because you've taken all your addictions from yourself. And um, once you get through the withdrawal of that, there is this thing on the other side. It's another level. They call it serenity in some programs I do. And that's what I'm after. That's what I'm after in this life. And that's why I eat like this. That's why I live the way I live. That's why I talk about the things I talk about and I do the things I do. It's all related, you know, what I do mentally and what I do with men and sugar life and with my money and with my food and with my relationships it's all connected. It's all related. What I'm doing here right now with my food for myself physically and psychologically, these same exact tools I'm using to eat like this are the same tools I use in relating to men. Yes. Go back and Rewatch what I just said if, if that doesn't really resonate with you quite yet. I'm sure for a lot of you, you know what I'm talking about. If it doesn't resonate yet, just go back and listen to it a few times and store it in your memory bank. And at some point, it's going to click for you and you're going to know what I'm talking about. It's all related. Everything is related. So I'm going to go ahead and eat my food right now. And um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. This is what I'm eating. Those are all my alarms going off for all my different classes and different uh, things I'm working on right now. I'm also in the process of building a new neural pathway for um, a dance class I'm taking. And I'm going to talk more about that. I want to show you guys the actual tools and techniques I use personally to build a new neural pathway and get to my next level with certain things in life. So I'm going to I'm going to create some content about that because I know that would be really really helpful for a lot of you based on the things you guys tell me. So I'm going to do that. And um yeah. I'm wishing you all the sweetest life possible and I'm here in the Dominican Republic, in my sanctuary, creating and working on myself, working on my businesses, doing inner child work, releasing trapped emotions, quantum leaping over here. It's been a wild past couple of days. I'm also studying Spanish, I'm studying dance. Like I said, I'm building my businesses. And I feel so grateful and fortunate that I get to do it here in this lovely apartment with all these chandeliers. 
on the eighth floor on the beautiful side of town in the middle of Distrito Nacional in Santo Domingo in a neighborhood that I thought I wouldn't be able to live in, but I get to live here because I used certain mental tools and certain success strategies in life and I got the man to pay for it. He paid my rent for one whole entire year and now I can be here working on myself, doing what I like to do best, which is inner work, which is personal development. And I get to do it here and he got to pay for it. And I feel really good about that at this point in my life right now. And this might be my last go around with these men ladies. I'm not sure, I don't wanna to speak too soon, but I might be done or might be getting close to being done with getting money from men. I know that sounds crazy, but that's something that's been going through my mind lately as another level. It may have completed its purpose. I don't know quite yet, so I don't wanna to speak too soon, but I'm getting these, these nudges. And my brain is unfolding certain information and processing things. And my next level self is unfolding. Mm, I've said way too much in this video. I didn't mean to do that. This was supposed to be about my food. Okay. I have to go eat my food now. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye for now. If you like these kind of videos and these kind of topics, you can like, subscribe, and you can go to the Sugar Lady Academy and watch more videos like these. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye for now.